Trinidad. Ma'am and welcome my two guests today. We'll be talking briefly about the electoral protest of former Senator Bongo Marcos. Together with me are Attorney Vic Rodriguez, representing the former Senator BBM, and Attorney Bernadette Sardillo. Tama po na po, Sardillo. Para mo kay Vice President Lenny Robedo. Sir, kayo po nagbayad na si Senator Bongo ng 36 million electoral protest. Kaya uh, Kulang pa yun, first installment. Pa, that's just the first tranche and uh, we are required to uh, comply again sometime July 14 for another 30 million. Another 30 million another on top of it. Tapos kayo po, Attorney kay Vice President, pinagbabayad po kayo ng 15M. Yes. But parang ayaw niyo pa po bayaran ito. Nakikiusag kami na hindi pa muna kang pagbayaran. Dahil po, Attorney, maybe you can tell them. Para, kailangan mo ng patunayan po ni Ginoong Marcos na talagang may daya nangyari. Siguro yung ibang ko kasi, attorney, nagtatanong, bakit kailangan magbayad ni Vice President? Eh, hindi naman po siyang nagano, nagpaprotesta dito, sir. Yeah, because meron din siyang counter-protest. And, uh, agaya nga nung sinabi ni attorney Ben, uh, we have to prove first that there was irregularity or cheating done uh, last uh, May 2016 election. But, you know, if, they, if, they, if their position ay walang, uh, walang daya nangyari, bakit meron silang counter-protest? Bakit kayo may counter-protest, attorney? Sinundan lang din po namin ang sinasabi ni Ginoong Marcos na may, dahil sa mga sitwasyon na nangyari daw nung eleksyon ay eh, nagkaroon ng dayaan na pektohan daw yung boto niya. Eh, kung gagamitin po natin yung argumento nila yun, dito sa mga probinsya ng counter-protest, eh makikita yung ganong sitwasyon din. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito yung zero, no? Yung yes. zero na nakuha ni Senator at yung zero na nakuha ni Vice President. Okay. Alright, sa so pag-uusapan pa po natin yan, maya maya lamang sa balitaan na 12 noon, please join us and you can send also um, your questions to us. Thanks everyone. See you later.